If you spend tens of hours working on a project, polishing and perfecting each nuance, matching each colour tone, could you then cut your creation in half? As the description says, I did it for a very specific reason. Stay tuned till the end to find out what's contained within. This project was inspired by a previous video where I'd hand cut the logos and the letters of a Coke can from wood, then placed it in resin. I really like the effect, but I think for more complex shapes, I'm gonna look to using the 3D printer for this particular project. Within FreeCAD, I designed the Pepsi logo and then sliced it using Cura. So ensuring that there was 100% fill so that when it's turned, there's plastic throughout the cut rather than seeing voids. And this was also done for the vertical and horizontal brand names. Now I'm using an Ender 3 V2 3D printer and the parts were printed using white filament. Then they were sealed using an epoxy resin to ensure that the dye didn't leach into other parts of the 3D print. Of course, each piece was examined for stringing and cleaned prior to sealing. Whilst these pieces were drying, I printed off a few extra parts for the diorama and set about trying to paint those. I had an issue with the outer layering of each print not being smooth, so it's something I need to explore and correct for future projects. I used Resonate Pigment for the Coke project and gonna do so again for the red parts of the Pepsi can design. These needed a little time to cure, so it's time to paint other parts of the diorama. As with previous projects, I use a central column to mount the various parts and then have been using the column with these serrated channels to help avoid the trapping of air bubbles and seem to get a lot of success. I used the blue pigment from Resonate and had to use quite a lot of it to get the darker look. And actually I thought the project was ruined when it came out of the pressure pot because it was just so easy to see the full depth of the 3D print. Anyway, I had to wait four days before it had cured sufficiently. So on with the diorama painting. Now I'm curious if anyone has already worked out what the hidden diorama is going to be. So as soon as you know what it is, stop the video and type it in the comments below. Then resume watching and comment again at the end of the video. Did you get it right? Now it's time to get it onto the lathe and whittle it down to the right dimensions of the soda can. Now this is definitely the fun part of the resin project especially when you get the long streamers that just cover everything. Okay, so it looks very dark at the moment, but you can see that the 3D printer survived being wood turned. 
Now this may look overkill using an Arduino board to test the lighting system, but actually very useful before you permanently connect it up to your project. As ever, I'm gonna dry sand the outside and then wet sand the going up to about 3000 grit. And this gives it a beautiful finish when it comes to resin projects. The approach I'm taking is to hollow out on one side as deep as I can get it, then reverse mount the project and go from the other end. Hopefully they'll meet in the middle somewhere and they'll be perfectly matched. What could go wrong? And on to printing the top and bottom and the ring pull of the can. I'm using a silver silk PLA filament, which gives a great look, akin to the metal aluminium can. Well, aluminum, aluminium, aluminum? No, oh, go to the 13th element in the periodic table. That's the one I mean. The final piece. No, wait, I should say the almost final piece. It was harder than expected cutting this in half. I really like the project so far. I was a little bit anxious about the final diorama. And here's a little known fact. Earlier this year was the 100th anniversary of the magician sawing a person in half trick. In fact, the International Magician Society voted on whether to hold a special event in order to celebrate it. But it turns out that their members were split 50-50. Right, just putting on some finishing touches to each of the pieces in the diorama. And now, the grand reveal. The hidden diorama for this project was Back to the Future. The hoverboard turned out okay, but to be honest, I wasn't really totally happy with some of the 3D printing. I think I need to spend more time with the Cura settings and the Ender printer to try and improve the smoothing. And I've heard of post-printing smoothing as well, so hopefully next time I'll be able to step up the quality. Alas, for this project, I just ran out of time. So please hammer that like button, glue your finger to the subscribe button, sand and polish the bell icon. And why not share this video with others through your social media? It really helps me to develop the channel and I really appreciate your time. So thank you so much for watching and catch you next time.